pure of our efforts, mm -hmm. uh, a law is accepted, and um, how can we sort of keep opposing this? Well, you try to get it uh, repealed. You try to get it defunded. That is, no money provided to, to uh, enforce the law. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is what's happening with the so-called food safety bill in the U.S. Food Safety Modernization Act in the U.S. It was passed, and it's a bad law because it gives federal control over the total food supply in the mm -hmm. U.S., virtually total. And uh, yet the pressure point for that is it has, it's going to cost $1.4 billion, but we can try to undercut the funding for it. So the law will be there, but it won't be funded. There will be no money for the agents to do what they want, want or what the bit says it should do. So you could try to defund it. And then the other thing is just passive resistance, civil disobedience, um, stay, uh, asking the police not to enforce it or to show. I mean, this is what's happened with uh, marijuana laws and the mm -hmm. like. And there will be a huge black market probably that will arise if it involves the sale of goods. Mm -hmm. And then just people will get involved in the black market. I'm yeah. not saying they should, but you know it's going to happen. It's like water; they go yeah. around the dam. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it will happen. How can we stabilize mankind, uh, heal, and recover as well, humanity? Well, you just try to do it person by person, and maybe to the extent you can get hold of media, to do it by greater numbers, and you. Um, teach them personal, the importance of personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of people will respond on the basis of showing this difference between something that's organic. So many people, uh, at least of our age and our time, are kind of inclined towards natural, towards organic, at least the ones who are involved mm -hmm. in fighting this health freedom yeah. battle are. So if you can show that the system that they're trying to impose on us mm -hmm. and have imposed on us yeah. is artificial and synthetic and show a parallel to the natural world, then they'll be more likely to accept the more natural way of doing things, mm -hmm. which is non-governmental, you know, put uh, handcuffs and put chains on government as much as possible, mm -hmm. because not only is it morally superior for people to have personal freedom, individual liberty. How can we energize uh, uh, the tired and worn out among the active uh, people, how can we, how can they energize themselves? Probably the best way, and there's no one way, but probably the best way is to pick a specific target mm -hmm. where you can win. Mm -hmm. And when you win and they see a victory, then I think in most cases it will energize those people who have seen defeat after defeat after defeat as government gets bigger, bigger, and there's more control over our lives. And so if you can target and be specific and get that victory, then that will help show them hope and that things can be turned around. So that's probably the best way. Yeah. I'm not saying it's the only way, but it's the one that comes to mind right now. Yeah, I thank you very much, uh, Scott, well, for this uh, quite long interview. Yes, well, it was longer than I thought, but you have some very interesting questions.